Welcome to the Core Skill Building Collection. In this video, you will learn how to use the state transition diagram. State transition diagrams describe the logical transition of a system through various states of operation. Presented in a freeform layout, the state transition diagram represents states, the transitions that connect them, and the events that trigger transitions. The implementation aligns with the SysML representation. States are an orthogonal approach to looking at the behavior of a system. Some systems are well suited to state transition representation, and many individuals naturally think this way. Other systems are well suited to a behavioral representation, and many naturally think in this pattern. Ultimately, it's up to the team and the individual whether to use state, behavior, or both in their analysis and modeling. A view of how states and transitions fit into the greater language of MBSE is shown here. If both states and functions are used, then states, their transitions, and the related events are higher level concepts than are realized by behavior. The state transition diagram is opened on a state element. The diagram is a single level diagram which displays all of the child states as rounded rectangles. The state nodes themselves can optionally display the behavior associated with entry, exit, and do, or root, functions related to them. The information here comes from the functions which the state incorporates. Setting the relationship attribute will display the text in the state node. The lines between states are transitions. Transitions are represented only by the lines connecting the nodes. The name of the transition element is not represented on the diagram. Transitions are the process or period of changing from one state to another. Transitions are directional, exiting from one state and entering another. While states may have multiple transitions, a transition can only exit from one state and enter one state. The words on the transition line come from multiple places and are not mandatory. The first piece of information is often the triggering event name. Transitions are triggered by events, and this is shown without any text embellishments. Events are an occurrence that may cause a state transition. Event types include an explicit signal from outside the system, an invocation from inside the system, the passage of a designated period of time, or a designated condition becoming true. Information displayed in text on the transition line depends on the specifics of the data. Events of type call or type signal are written with the event name followed by the condition in parentheses. Events of type change are written as when followed by the condition. Events of type absolute time are written as at followed by the condition. Events of type relative time are written as after, followed by the condition. Transitions may have guard conditions. Guard conditions contain an expression that must be true in order for a transition to occur. Guard conditions are captured on the property sheet of the transition in the guard attribute and are shown on the diagram in square brackets. Events may have a condition that pertain to the type of event triggering the transition. For signal or call events, the condition is information that gets passed in, such as GPS coordinates or temperatures. For all other types, it is a condition that must be met, such as a time period elapsing. Conditions are captured on the property sheet of the event and are shown on the diagram in parentheses. Transitions are serviced by functions, a transformation that accepts one or more inputs and transforms them into outputs. The function name which services the transition is shown after the slash. Here we see two generic states connected by a transition. This transition exits a state in this view and enters another state in this view. We've included a few toolbar buttons to speed up your work on this diagram. If you select a transition, then the call button on the diagram, you can see the type attribute on the event that is triggered by the transition. When you want to use a condition, you can do it through the toolbar as well. With the transition selected, click the condition button on the toolbar, enter the condition, and click OK. Guard conditions can be entered in a similar manner. 
any time a transition enters a state in this view, but does not exit from one, you'll see one end represented by a solid circle. Any time a transition exits a state in this view, but does not enter one, it is represented by a concentric circle. This is a free-form diagram, allowing you to arrange the nodes and transitions in the manner best suited to your system. A good reference for more information on the state transition diagram is Chapter 11 of A Practical Guide to SysML, The Systems Modeling Language by Sanford Friedenthal, Alan Moore, and Rick Steiner. This concludes the overview of the state transition diagram. To learn more about using CORE, go back to our screencast page and view the rest of the Skill Building Collection.